Hello friends, welcome to the IT Buddies channel. In this video, we are going to build this meal finder application. So you can search here any kind of meal whenever you starving. Remember, we already did this project named recipe finder with the help of React. But in this video, we are going to build this project using only HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So any prior knowledge of JavaScript framework like React, Angular is not required. We can build this project with Scratch. So only prior knowledge is required of CSS and HTML. Now I want to give you a quick overview about what we have to build in this project. So here you can find a nice search wheel. Inside that you can search any kind of meal. So I write here sandwich. You can write here any favorite food of yours and whenever I click on this search button you can see here there is an result according to of our search. First is lasagna sandwich, second is grilled cheese sandwich. So I click on this. You can see here first a nice image of our lasagna sandwich and inside this nice block there is a category and area of our meal and after that there is a nice recipe step by step and after that there is an ingredients according to teaspoons and slice so this is our project to find any kind of meal and there is an also random button because sometimes we can't decide what we have to make in breakfast lunch or dinner so whenever i click on this random button you can see here any random recipe is showing here so we can decide what we have to make for our lunch yes this is working properly so this is our project so stay tuned now let's move to our coding part so here you can see a new folder meal finder i created inside that there is entry separate file first is for our html second is for our javascript and third is for our CSS. So let's start our coding by generating our basic HTML code. And inside this title, I write here meal finder. You can see this title here. After that, we have to tell our index.html file that we also include this style.css. So we have to provide our link rail is equal to style sheet and inside this href we have to write our file name that is style.css then close this tag after that we have to generate another link that is for our font awesome library so this library can help me to generate this kind of awesome icon for this search button and random button now move inside our body part and here we have to assign our javascript so i write our script tag inside this source we have to write our file name that is script.js now close this tag and after that i create a new separate div this is our main div with class name container the name is totally up to you and inside this div i write h1 tag and our project name is meal finder so this h1 tag can allow us to write this meal finder after that i create a new separate div for our this search field and the class name is I write here flex inside this div we have to create our form so form with class flex the class name is totally up to you and id is submit We write here ID because 
we want to modify our form with our javascript so this id can help us to modify with javascript inside this form tag i create another field that is input so with the help of this input here you can search any of this mill inside this input tag first i write type is equal to text id is equal to search so with this particular id we can apply particular method by our javascript and after this id i write here place holder that is search for mill you can see this placeholder here search for meals after that we have to close this input tag now we have to add our search button this so for that i write our button tag with our class that is search button remember with this class we can apply our different style with this css file and with this id we can apply our javascript part after this class tag i write here type is equal to submit because we have to submit this mill after that inside this button tag we have to provide this icon that is search so here inside that i write our i tag with class is equal to fafa search because this is provided by our font or some library now i create another button tag for this random button so after this form tag i write here button tag with our class name random button with the id random inside this button i create our link that is papa random so we can apply our nice icon for this then after this flex div but inside this container div i create three separate div first with id result heading so this class will allow us to see this heading after that i create another div with this id meals so this class will allow us to see this kind of meals then the third class with this id single meal this last div will allow us to see our result by clicking any of these so whenever i click on this you can see here the recipe of our single meal so this is generated by this div tag now save this file and i want to open this with our live server so here you can see our index file is open inside my chrome and this is our mill finder h1 tag and this is our body tag so now i want to apply some css so this file looks better so now we have to move inside this style.css first is for our border box box sizing that is border box after that i want to apply style for our whole body so now background color is like brown so i write here hexadecimal tag you can write here brown only so that is 
2013. So now save this. You can see here a brown color is added successfully. After that, I want to assign our color for our search field and our H1 tag. So color is white. So here you can see a nice white color for our H1 tag and our search field. Then I want to change that font. So I write here font family. And this is optional. So I choose this font. So now save this. You can see here our font is changed. Now I want to apply a margin 0. I write this margin 0 because this will automatically add some kind of margin. So I write here margin 0 and save this. You can see here our margin is now 0. Now I want to apply CSS for our main class that is container. So dot container margin is auto. Max width is 800 pix. Then display is flex. So flex will allow us to display all of this field horizontal. So this is not looks good. So I write here dot flex. Again display flex. Now save this and here you can see all of this field horizontally. Now I want to put all of this field inside the center. So for that I write here align items center. Justify content that is center and text align. Center. This will allow us to put all of our item center. This is allow us to put our content and this will allow us to put our text. So whenever I click on this save, you can see here this looks nice. But this is not like this. So I want to apply our flex vertically. So flex direction that is column. So now save this and this looks pretty much good. Now I want to apply style for this button. So for that I write here input button. Inside that first we have to apply our border. One pix solid. 3 times DE. Then I want to modify our button edges like this. So for that, border top left radius is 4 peaks. Then same for our bottom. So here you can see our edges is modified. Now I want to increase our font size. 14 pigs. So yes, it is increased. Then I want to apply padding. 8 and 10 and again margin is 0 so this looks pretty much good now I want to make white this field so for that input type is equal to text With I gonna increase to 300. So you can see our 
field is now wide. Now I want to add a particular CSS for this search button instead of both buttons. So for that, here we apply a class that is search button. So we have to use that search button. First is cursor. I want to make pointer. Then border left and border radius is zero we make this zero because we want to apply this fill like an entity so now save this and you can see here this is now joined because we decrease our border left and radius to zero then we also want to modify this right side of these edges like this so for that copy this and paste here and right here right so now save this so yes, it is modified and it looks pretty much good. Now I want to apply CSS for this random button. So here, random button. Cursor is pointer. Then also I want to make this edge rounded corner. So copy this and paste here and now you can see here this is modify and now i want to apply margin left ten peaks so here you can see this is modified now now let's take a quick pause here because we completed the part one of our mill finder project that is html and base of css so in the part two we apply search and display mills like this here you can search and here you can see our mills so we do this in part two if you get any error while programming you can check my description i added the github code link and whenever i upload the part 2 video i also add this link inside my description so stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel thank you and bye bye